A single young woman craved new and exciting experiences in life, harboring no thoughts of motherhood at all. Unbeknownst to her, the biggest adventure was just around the corner and one that would change her life most unexpectedly. They say life happens to us when we're busy making other plans. When things don't go according to our heartfelt desires and wishes, we often feel a myriad of emotions including disappointment, pain, confusion, and hopelessness. But we might forget that sometimes the most heartwarming moments we experience are products of pure coincidence. Extracting joy from life's endless surprises and sheer unpredictability can be a wonderful stroke of luck, and today's story centers around something just like that. Emily Lauder from Worcestershire, England had no idea what fate had in store for her, at least not in the beginning. Before entering university and even during her uni life, she had embarked on many trips. She wished to travel her whole life and had an adventurous streak. After finishing university, she flew to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Then her friend flew out to meet her and together they traveled around, enjoyed safari rides, and relaxed at the beaches in Zanzibar. After her friend left, Larder headed to Uganda in August 2014 where she had booked a two-month trip to volunteer in a children's home. She had plans to go down to South Africa and several other countries afterwards. However, her plans were interrupted by an unexpected happening. According to Larder, volunteering at the children's home was hard work but rewarding. She changed diapers, helped kids with their meal times, and kept them entertained. She had only been there for a month when the home manager received a phone call. It turned out that a mother in the Budagaya village had tragically died, leaving behind seven children including a newborn. Shortly afterward, Larder and the other volunteers arrived at the young mother's burial where something strange happened. Larder recalled, A five-day-old baby was placed into my arms. I was only 22 years old but at that moment, my life as I knew it changed. A neighbor handed the little boy to Larder and told her that there was no one to take care of him. The baby didn't even have a name. Larder took him to the children's home where the charity director asked her to become the newborn's primary caregiver. Without any hesitation, she agreed to take care of him. The moment Larder unwrapped the tiny baby from the bundle of blankets he was in, she fell in love with him. The baby was soon given the name Adam. Soon Larder became so attached to Adam that she extended her stay. She recollected, Adam slept in a cot next to my bed, loved being cuddled and would cry if I wasn't around. His siblings all went to live with friends or neighbors and everyone told me not to get attached but I ended up extending my stay to look after him. During that time, the thought of adoption crossed her mind but Larder let it go because she was a young, fresh university graduate and hadn't even landed her first job. She also knew about the adoption laws in Uganda and how rare it was for a single female to adopt a male child. Larder showered Adam with tender love and care for seven months and raised money to buy his milk, diapers and clothes. But in April 2015, the young woman knew it was time to leave Uganda. Something tugged at her heartstrings and she knew it was her love for Adam. Back home in the UK, Larder couldn't stop thinking about Adam. By this time, she'd landed a teaching job and seeing the kids around her reminded her of the seven-month-old baby she had left behind. Larder also enrolled Adam at a British nursery school in Uganda and continued funding his baby formula, diapers and clothing. Then one day, she received a heart-shattering message. Adam was in the hospital suffering from severe malaria. Larder recounted, I called my dad in floods of tears. All I wanted at that moment was to be there with Adam, comforting him and making sure he was okay. It was then I realized I could do this no longer. I would find a way. I loved him more than anything. On Christmas 2015, Larder went to Uganda and met social workers to help her with adopting Adam. She also worked hard to ensure she could provide for Adam and pursue his adoption without any hurdles. Larder revealed, I juggled three jobs, teaching bar work and care work seven days a week so I could save up and return to Uganda. I spoke to a lawyer who said once I'd adopted Adam in Uganda, I'd have to formally adopt him in the UK too under immigration law. In August 2016, Larder packed her suitcases and moved to Uganda to be close to Adam, who had turned 23 months old but loved her all the same. However, only months after moving in, Larder lost her job and became worried about how she would raise little Adam. It was then that a colleague suggested Larder create a GoFundMe page. Several people rallied in support within a few days and she had enough money to complete the adoption process. Larder's family also offered to support her living cost until she found another job. During this time, Larder said she met a man named Josh via the children's home and entered into a relationship with him. She noted that Josh was kind and sweet with Adam. Shortly afterward, Josh moved in with him in October 2016. In September 2018, Larder was thrilled to receive an adoption hearing in Kampala, but her happiness turned to sadness when it got cancelled. Soon, Josh's cousins George III, Tally II, and James I came to live with her as their parents were too unwell to look after them. 
After canceled court dates and two failed court hearings, Larder stood before a judge in December 2018, and seven months later Adam was officially declared her son. The little boy she first held in her arms five years ago finally became her family, and Larder's feelings at that moment were indescribable. After a long and tiring process of obtaining adoption orders, written ruling, and other necessary paperwork, Adam's Ugandan adoption was finalized at the end of November 2020. He finally had his passport and was granted a UK visa. In January 2021, after almost four and a half years of living in Uganda, the mother-son duo flew to the UK to start a new chapter of their lives. The pair started living in Lay Sinton with Larder's parents, who were delighted to meet their grandson. Larder's father, Peter, expressed, Adam has settled in really well and he's a really lovable boy. His energy levels are amazing so it's tiring but it's good. We wouldn't want it any other way. Moreover, Larder's mom Jacqueline shared, Now that he's here, I wouldn't have it any other way. He's our grandson and that's it. Although Larder had officially adopted Adam in Uganda, the adoption was not recognized in the UK which meant she had to start the process all over again. After several visits to social workers and many court hearings, Larder was declared Adam's legal mother in December 2021. The happy news came just before Christmas and Larder was over the moon to know that Adam was her son in both their home countries. She said, My baby boy totally unplanned, totally unexpected. I was just 22 when he was placed into my arms at 5 days old. 7 months and 4 months later, he was forever mine and I was forever his. But while Adam remained with Larder in the UK, her life partner Josh and their three adopted children remained in Uganda. Being apart from the rest of her family deeply hurt Larder, but she hoped to be reunited with him eventually. Through it all, Larder said she was immensely grateful for meeting Adam and welcoming him into her heart and home. Regarding her journey, she added, I didn't save him. I'm not the hero of this story. I just held a baby in my arms and fell in love. I chose love over everything else. After all, love is what matters. According to his adoptive mom, Adam is exceptionally kind and caring and loves his family. He also loves animals and is a talented sportsman. Larder is immensely proud of her son and looks back on her journey with nothing but gratitude. This phenomenal story teaches us that sometimes unexpected encounters can bring complete strangers together and forge lasting connections. We hope that Larder and Adam reunite with Josh and the other three kids and continue inspiring the world with their positivity. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.